Hey guys, so welcome to my channel. Um, and the main reason why I wanted to make this video is that I've recently been into home automation and here in the Philippines, um, you can't really find a lot of branded hubs or at least Zigbee hubs here in the Philippines. So I bought a few. So the first hub that I bought was the most wireless hub. So this is basically a Wi-Fi Zigbee hub. Um, the next one, is so I sort of wanted to check out like another type of hub. This one was a bit more generic. However, it had a USB-C connected to it. So I figured, hey, it might be, you know, a little bit more advanced. Uh, the last one was very interesting. So this is from the same store as the first wireless hub. So it's a most multi-mode hub. So this one's a bit more expensive, um, but according to the site, there are more features here. So, you know, we'll, we'll be testing this out in this video. And you know, um, once again, I'm just starting out this page, so a like and a sub would be amazing, guys. So this one is the wireless smart gateway from Mos. Um, it's pretty small, um, just like the other ones. Um, so uh, the other one that I tested um, prior to this was um, Smart Tool. Um, which didn't really work well, so that's why I'm testing like a couple of others. Um, so let's just do a quick unboxing of this. I don't really want to break the box because I want to return this if it doesn't do well. So let's try to be a bit careful here. Okay, um, so it, I mean it's a pretty straightforward. Um, it's a small device. Um, you get your actual device um, you've got your straightforward um, manual and then you also get um, a micro usb there you go so this is a micro usb one um, as you can see here um, it's Let's see how long it is. I do have a ruler here. Um, it's about two feet. It's about two feet in length. Um, the actual device, um, pretty much straightforward. You've got your um, connection, a reset button, a micro USB port. This is roughly about uh, let's see, about two, a little less than two and a half inches by two and a half inches, no? Um, and then in terms of height, it's about um, roughly a little, a little less than half an inch, right? Okay, um, so this one is the most uh, wireless Zigbee hub. Okay, um, so I did want to test like another unit. Um, just wanted to see. Um, this one is sort of brandless. It's not really from like a specific store. That's why, well, I mean, they are all pretty. Uh, let's try to open this properly. Um, they are all pretty um, basic, right? So uh, I assume this might be a little different from the rest. So you've got your. This one's a little textured, a little bit, right? Um, the thing that I figured that why this might be like a little different, you know, straightforward. You've got your, you've got your manual, right? Um, this is Zigbee as well, and it is a wireless gateway. So the difference here is that this one is USB-C, right? Um, as you can see here, it's USB-C. Let's see how like how long this is. Yep, standard. Uh, I would say that this is. Let's measure this. Just give me a while. I'm measuring it off off the screen. It's like two and a half feet in terms of its length. So this is USB-C. And as I said a while ago, I, I don't know if you can see it. It's a little bit more textured. Um, you do have your two indicator uh, LEDs here. 
Um, the switch though is on top, so that one's pretty nice. And you do have your your power port. So this one, um, uh, like it's, you know, I'm hoping that it'll be better, right? Um, so we'll give this a test as well and see um, if it's any better, right? Okay. Okay, guys. Um, so this is the gateway that I'm most interested in testing. Um, once again, from Mo's, uh, I think I got this for about 1,600. Uh, all the rest were in the range of five, 700 pesos, right? So um, pretty much straightforward box, right? Um, this one, uh, the only difference between this uh, in terms of connection, so this one is 2.4 gig Wi-Fi. Uh, they are all 2.4 gig, there's no 5 gig Wi-Fi. Um, this has Zigbee and the only difference in terms of connection, this has Bluetooth. Um, so that, yeah, let's, let's open this up, right? Um, so I have opened this already before. There was some plastic covering initially. Um, so this is the main gateway. It does come with um, your standard manual. And there is a, let's get right through this box. There is a um, cable as well. So this one is micro USB as you can see here. Um, in terms of length, this is roughly about two feet. Okay, um, now as a, as a comparison between this one and um, the standard uh, wireless Zigbee puck that we usually get, um, you can see it's quite substantial. Its diameter is about three and a half inches. Um, it does angle out a bit, right? So this one, this one's about half an inch. This one is roughly about 0.8 inches on its uh, shortest end and about 1.4 inches right um, on its thickest end no um, so that's it no um, so let's let's check out this this um, multi mode Zigbee hub. Um, it does have a switch um, which I like. Uh, we'll check if we can program that for certain things. Maybe we can set it for two press or something long press later on. Um, what I like also is you know it's it's a little bit more hefty. There is rubber in the bottom. The All the rest um, it does have that rubber um, but it's so light right. This one's like you know it's almost no weight um, this one's a little bit more significant um, there let's look around um, so once again I haven't used this yet um, I know it this speaker does work so we'll test that you've got your micro USB there is also a pin here a pinhole so you can um, do like a reset the factor set factory settings um, so we'll, we'll be testing this all out in this review as well okay so that's the multi-mode. All right, um, so here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through like the pairing process together. So I have the Mo's uh, Zigbee wireless gateway. So let's um, power this up. And we should get a blue and red light, okay? Um, and what we have to do is Hold this for five seconds until that red light starts blinking. Right. There you go. So you can see it there. It's, it's blinking already. So um, here I've been using the Smart uh, Live app. Um, I, I don't really see the difference between the two as much. No? The, the Tuya and the Smart Life. So we'll have to go here to Gateway Control, okay? And then we'll just have to click the Wireless Gateway Ziggy, all right? So um, let me just enter the password. Okay, now I've entered the password. Um, we just have to click Next. Okay, so it's gonna ask us um, 
if we've done any of this stuff. So plug in the gateway, hold the reset button for five seconds, and then it should be blinking. Okay, so since that is done, let's just hit next. Okay. again okay well it's still flashing okay starting with the reset okay um so okay now it's reset I guess we have to hit this again to make sure it's blinking. Okay, this one seems that it's blinking a bit slower, so let's see how that works. So now it's telling me that I need to connect to uh, the device's hotspot. And the smart light. Connected. Okay. Okay, this one was pretty fast. Um, like 15 seconds because we're connected directly to it. Um, let's just call this um, let's call this the most it's fine done alright so when I did to test this um, I actually have a um, okay, let's update this firmware. Okay, Alright, well that's updating. I, I do have this um, LED strip with a um, LED Wi-Fi connector, which is also Zigbee. Um, it's just right beside me, so it's like a like a foot away which we're going to be using for testing for this um, i'll also be placing this at different distances um, throughout the house just to see how good the connection is and how stable it's going to be Now that it's updated, let's add a sub device. Um, It's working. Wow. So 
what we'll do right now is I'll test this at different um, distances and let's see. Um, first of all, let's also test. Let's look at the device information. Check device network. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place this a little further and let's see. Alright, so right now um, the light is roughly about um, 5 meters away. Let's see if it turns off. A pretty responsive. Uh, so this is roughly ten meters down on the side. Okay, looks pretty responsive. So that is the wireless gateway um, of most. Um, so this is the other one, this is the unbranded one, um, this is the USB-C um, which has the clicker in the front. So let's test this out, no? let's um, power it up. Okay. Uh, okay, there we go, um, the light isn't as strong, I, I sure hope that you guys can see that, so you've got the red and blue light that's turning on let's try this out okay let's wait for the red light to start flashing Flashing slowly. All right. Um, so let's add it here. Um, let's put the gateway control again. Wireless gateway ZB. Okay. Let's follow the same. Hold for five. We've done that, and the red light is blinking. I wouldn't really call that flashing. Okay. Switch pairing mode. Plug in, it's already plugged in. Hold reset for five seconds. Okay, it looks like a tribute.
Okay, now it's uh, blinking rapidly, I guess, same as that. Hold we'll reset for another 5 seconds. Blinking slowly. Okay, let's see. Swipe run. Seems that it's the new firmware. So now we're going to connect this. Um, so once again, I have my LED light. Um, we're going to place this into pairing mode. So once it starts breathing like that, it is in pairing mode. Perfect. Um, let's try to test this um, five meters away. Now we're going to test this at um, roughly 10 meters down line of sight. Okay, pretty responsible for me to stand by Alright, so this is the one that I'm most excited about. Oh, I am. Um, this one is the most uh, multi mode gateway, right? So let's power this BD up. Ooh. 
so it has like a nice um I don't know if you can see that it's like a nice glow. Oh wow! So this one just showed up. I, I guess because there's Bluetooth. Much easier. You see, so the glow. Now that it's uh, it was um, like purple or blue a while ago, now it turned red. Ding, 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 ding. So I'm kind of curious, like how? How do you set the alarm? Set this into pairing mode. There. It's in pairing mode. There you go. Okay, one thing I noticed is um, this does have an alarm, like uh, speakers. So um, I'll have to test this a bit more now. So apparently, you can make it a, a security gateway. Um, I do have like some door switches, you can set an alarm mode. Right. So I guess it, it connects here. For the alarm. Okay. So let's go back here. Let's test it at zero. Now we'll test this at five meters long. Pretty responsive at this distance. landing of site
looks good, no? Um, what I'm kind of curious is what this button does. If I press it, it starts blinking. If I press it, it stops. Okay, so uh, this one is the multi mode. So I power this up. Um, I want to talk about this because this is the most uh, different amongst a lot of them. So I'm just going to make the light a bit weaker so you can sort of see the light. No, uh, sorry if it's going to be like a little dark, but I just want you to see it. So it seems that there are like a couple of colors if it is in um, if it's connected to the network um, it is red no so one interesting thing about this is um, so there's a couple of things that make me not want this anymore you know um, first of all um, this light is actually quite bright so if, if you're gonna keep this in your bedroom it's very bright no um, another thing is well I was hoping that um, a couple of features here that that I kind of like for it no um, it is not the Bluetooth um, I don't really want to connect anything on Bluetooth here is number one is this button over here um, I originally thought that I could program this as like a Zigbee button but uh, so you press it it basically goes into like um, some sort of pairing mode um, I thought initially like if I added it here um, what would happen was that maybe like um, it would pair as maybe like a button but as you'll see in a while it will not detect anything um, and apparently when I was talking to the person over at Moe's is that it is just used to pair the Bluetooth so if it's already paired to the device this button doesn't really do much of anything right um, so let's just give it a while I'll fast forward this a bit and let's see if it actually pairs So you can see here it's timed out um, it really doesn't do much um, if we go into let's say settings um, what's funny enough is like when we hit this um, So it doesn't doesn't really connect to anything, no. Um, so that's what's kind of annoying about that. So this button, um, it doesn't really do anything. Um, if you guys, once again, the supplier said that once it's paired, um, it's just supposed to help with the pairing process. I'm hoping that there's more to it. If you guys find out a reason, please do let me know. Um, another one is this speaker over here in the back right here the speaker so apparently you know in the description it actually says that it's a speaker but when i spoke to them they said that currently it's um it is reserved the term for it was reserved and its function isn't being used yet so um i'm kind of very I'm kind of very tempted to open this um, but currently they say that it's not really useful so basically this whole large one you can see like this is the standard one there's kind of no use for this aside from the fact that it has Bluetooth right and uh, once again the, the light is kind of annoying um, if I were to choose between any of these three 
I would still go with the smallest one and this is the the most um, wireless smart gateway um, primarily because well first of all this one seems so flimsy um, this is the generic one um, this one seems like uh, it has a little bit more weight in it um, it is also smaller as well as you can see there um, and quite frankly they all serve the same purpose um, so at the end of the day um, I, I probably wouldn't go with this uh, I'll probably go with either this wireless one or maybe a wired version also so at least you won't have to worry about pairing right um, but um, at the, you know these two are almost exactly the same this one is twice the price um, you know if, if you need Bluetooth fine get it um, but I wouldn't recommend this one I would probably just go with a plain and simple one uh, at the end of the day you just want to be able to pair it and set it set everything up okay